Today we're going to do 8-4 perpendicular vectors and we're really looking at two different types of multiplication, inner product and cross products. Our goals for today will be able to actually do how to the inner product and the cross product. Uh, inner product is easy, cross product is a little hard and determine if vectors are perpendicular. We'll look at inner product first. Let's say that I give you two vectors. We'll do two dimensional space. Vector A is as written, vector B is as written. The inner product is simply going to be your two x values um, plus, or the product of your two x values times the product of your two y values. Look at an example. Um, first we'll do the inner product of x, y, let you think about it, and you can verify that it's 3. If we do x times z, we see we get 0. Now 0 is a special number. If you get a 0 as a product of your inner products, that means those two vectors were perpendicular. In three dimensions, it's not much different. You're just going to have three values for each vector. Um, and you would do it exactly the same way. Multiply your x values, add it to your y values, and then your z values. On to the cross product. A little tougher, you're going to have to remember something about matrices. We do it always in three dimensions. So I define my two vectors. And the cross product is the determinant of this 3x3 three three vector. Notice that you have an i, j, and k above the top. You've got to remember how to find a determinant of a 3x3. Three three. So I'll show you. You actually break it down in something called expansion of minors. Uh, if you remember anything from pre-calc, you might have talked about this. You can pause it and see what that formula looks like. You're going to have to figure out three little determinants to figure out the determinant of the whole thing. Um, and you can see those three little determinants um, right there. And I'm going to go through an example here in a second. Here's my example. I give you a, th um, a three-dimensional vector, A and B, and ask you to find the cross product. You're going to put it into that three-dimensional matrix, or three-by-three three matrix, and do the expansion of minors, which is going to require you to find three little determinants. I know it's tricky, but if you pause it, you can see where I'm getting all those numbers from. What you end up with is a vector written as the sum of the unit vectors. So you have some i, some j, and some k. In this case, I think it was uh, 